Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So, a lot of you guys probably by now have heard at least people talking about Giannis possibly going to the Los Angeles Lakers because he had an interview over the weekend in which he said that he would love to play with his brother either in Milwaukee or LA. And all of a sudden, rumors and people speculating, can Giannis actually go to the Los Angeles Lakers? Well, I decided why not put Giannis on the Lakers on NBA 2K20 and just see what happens. So this is not a traditional rebound. I'm not going through multiple seasons. I just legitly want to know as an NBA fan and as a Lakers fan, if you add Giannis to the roster, what will happen? Now, of course, this is not an exact science, right? Because Giannis isn't a free agent until 2021. The teams across the league in NBA are going to be different. Players that you're not expecting to become good are going to be good. Play people that you're expecting to be stars may not be all stars. So, we do not know, it's not an exact science, but we did go ahead and we put Giannis Antetokounmpo on the Lakers, and already he has a plus one up to a 99 overall. We're not playing no game, so don't worry about the number being number 16 either. So they have LeBron James at point guard, of course, he's a 94 overall. We expect him to kind of get a little bit worse. Danny Green is a player that maybe he could still be there. He does have two years left on his deal. But Danny Green, if he does go back to the Lakers after those two years, he's not going to command the type of money that he is right now. Of course, you have Giannis. You have AD as long as he resigns at the end of the year. JaVale McGee is pretty cheap. I'm sure he'll be there. Dwight Howard, unless the team decides to offer him a crazy amount of money, if he still wants to play, he should also be relatively cheap. Kyle Kuzma, you're going to have to pay him a little bit by then. But other than that, a lot of these guys, I don't think Rondo will be playing for the Lakers at that point. KCP might still be there. Who really knows? But we're going to go ahead, and that is the lineup. Like I said, LeBron at point, Danny Green at the two, Giannis, AD, JaVale McGee with Dwight Howard and Kuzma as your main guys coming off of the bench, man. So we'll go through, simulate an entire season, which should be relatively quick, man, and um, see what happens. I don't want this to be a long, drawn-out video at all. We just want to go through and see if the Lakers – can win a championship so let me know in the comment section below no cheating do you think the lakers will win the championship with this roster they don't have the best shooters in the world especially with Giannis, but they have so much talent with Giannis, ad and lebron it's definitely going to be hard so you see they're already off to a great start 18 and 2 through that month man um that is absolutely crazy and we will let the cpu handle that 23 and 3. These guys are absolutely tearing it up right now. And they beat the Clippers by two points. That one's pretty, pretty good win right there, man. And simulation actually does not take that long at all, which is great. But this record right now is ridiculous. See if they can get to 40 wins quickly. And okay, a little losing streak, but they beat the Clippers. They get to 40 wins. Um, no, we're not gonna stop the simulation for the all-star game. No trade deadline. You have the squad. Why do we need to, to trade? We probably don't. I think they could easily, easily going to get to 60 wins. Now you start asking, can they get to 65, get close to 70 wins on the season? Nine losses. 57. Okay. 59 wins. 60 wins. So they're easily there. Easily at 65. Like I said, can they now maybe get to 70? This is crazy. So they're at 69. 70 wins right now. 71. And they finished 71 and 11. So this squad is ridiculous. And Giannis surprisingly still winning the MVP. The reason I say surprisingly, when you have that much talent on your roster, your stats wouldn't go down. You see a lot of these sims. Giannis might go for 30 points a game, 29 points. It did slightly go down to 27.9, 11.4 rebounds, and 8.8 assists. The dude shot 33% from the three point line. So that's a little bit better. That's not bad. 63% from free throw, 57% from the field. But almost average a triple double. John Morant's got rookie of the year, even with Zion being healthy in the sim. 23.3 points a game. That's pretty insane, man. Um, sixth man of the year, Dennis Schroeder, 20, just under 22 points a game. Not bad. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player of the year. Why not? Why not? Bam out of bio. Okay, most improved. So representing Big Blue Nation. Not mad at that one at all. Frank Vogel, the coach, you're 71 and 11. Um, I think you win by default, even though you have a 99 overall team. So awards, nothing really crazy. LeBron first team. You have Giannis first team as well. So no Anthony Davis, but he is on the second team. So Lakers have three all NBA players. 
which is absolutely crazy in its own right. Um, all NBA third team was actually Zion, but I don't think we see John Morant as an all NBA player. But um, let's see what Zion averaged. Zion averaged 22 and a half points a game, 59 percent from the field. That's absolutely ridiculous. All NBA defensive team. A bunch of Clippers and Lakers. You have LeBron, Giannis making the all-defensive team. Then you have Paul George, um, Kawhi, then, of course, Rudy Gobert. He's like a mainstay, right, um, when it comes to the all-defensive team. Um, Anthony Davis making second team. All right, then the rookies. Not bad. So nothing really truly crazy. Let's go ahead and look at the season stats, at least for the Lakers. 27.9 for Giannis. 27 and a half for LeBron. So both getting points and then AD contributing 24 points a game. Very, very solid. Then you had um, McGee and Dwight Howard giving you 10 points. Kuzma's, I mean, you wouldn't expect that. His average is going to go down to nine points a game. So he went from what, 18 points? 18 points to nine points a game. So the worst of his career. Danny Green, as long as he shot decently from the three point line, 38%. I mean, it's okay. It, it's definitely. Um, Took a step backwards, but that's that's solid, man. Let's look at rebounds real quick. 11 from Giannis, 10 from AD, 8 from Dwight, 7 from McGee. So they did their thing grabbing rebounds. So pretty much what you expect, man. But now the moment of truth. Can they actually win a championship, man? So first round, they're going against Memphis. Memphis, it shouldn't be. I don't think it should be too bad, man. Um, we'll go ahead. Can you just simulate one game? Or you have to simulate round. Hmm. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just simulate the round. See what happens. So we win the first game. It's sweep. Easy. Four games. Going up against Utah. What else do we have? Golden State lost in the um, playoffs. OKC. Houston. OKC. So Chris Paul getting his revenge, I guess, against Houston. They get out of the first round. Um, the Clippers take care of business against Portland. You have Philly in a hard-fought battle against Indiana. I feel like if they got into a, a series, it will be a pretty solid series. Even though on this one, it was a one versus eight seed. Atlanta beating Miami. That's shocking in the playoffs right there. Um, then you have Boston narrowly beating Brooklyn. And then you have Toronto beating Orlando. So... A couple of surprises, nothing crazy. Let's go to the next round. And this one ended in five games. So I guess a little bit more difficult, but they did their thing. Clippers did what they're supposed to do. Philly just absolutely demolished Atlanta. And then a close one between Portland and Toronto. But you have the 1-2 seed on the east, 1-2 seed on the west. Let's go ahead, man. This one is going to be interesting. This one's definitely going to be interesting. But maybe not because the Lakers end up winning in five so very very easy philly they sweep toronto so here we go philadelphia 76ers playoffs or championship nba finals i guess rather against the los angeles lakers man and la i guess this is way too easy so you're right if you said it was going to be this way you're absolutely right Giannis the 25 points a game 10.8 rebounds 8.4 assists um, he is your finals MVP in five games. Now, given my opinion, do I think this is a realistic thing? Do I think the Lakers could realistically go out and get Giannis? Now, Giannis saying that he would love to play with his brother. That is a given. And I think the Lakers seen that coming. And you see the Lakers go out and they went and got his brother. Of course, for this reason, I think that is just creating a path that they could go get Giannis. Giannis seems kind of non-committal about milwaukee which should be a red flag that doesn't mean he will leave that should just be a red flag anytime a guy really wants to be there typically he said i'll come back i'm going to sign of course you could kind of be you know um say the right thing say i'm, you know, I'm gonna do my due diligence but he seems very non-committal and hesitant about saying i'm going to stay long term like i said that doesn't mean that he's necessarily going to leave he could to say that in the stay. Of course, Milwaukee can offer more money than the Lakers can. The Lakers, they're in LA. You're going to have other stars around you. And you have Jason Kidd. You know Giannis like Jason Kidd. And he was the head coach of Milwaukee. He's now there in LA. We are all expecting at some point, J. Kidd might be the head coach of the Lakers down the road. So 
I think those two teams are going to battle, and I think he doesn't know what he's going to do yet. Um, he still has a while to really think about it. Milwaukee, right now, they have a great team around Giannis. They literally have built that entire team around his skill set. So that may make it tough for him to leave, but it's also Milwaukee versus L.A., and that could play a major key, man. But this was the simulation. Like I said, very, very quick. Didn't want to make this too long. The Lakers, man, 71-11 in the regular season. They only lost three games total in the whole playoffs. If it happened, like I said, the NBA layout may be a little different by then, but the Lakers will be stacked, man. And they're putting themselves in a situation where they could actually financially go get Giannis if he becomes a free agent the way they have their contract situated now. So we'll see what happens, man. But you guys let me know you guys' thoughts. Do you think Giannis is going to the Lakers? Do you think the Lakers are automatic, like by far favorites if they land Giannis at some point well, in the summer of 2021, man? Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.